Okay, we survived the uh, Obzon mirror match, and now we're on round two, having lost the die roll. With a pretty awkward hand that I am going to keep. We need green. I have a lot in the deck. We're also on the draw, and I have two morphs and a super powerful spell. So, there you have it. Oh, hello. Blue, green, lovely. I love those cleric combinations. Ooh, that's a nice draw. Now we just need Forest, and then I'm just the biggest luck sack in the world. Thornwood Falls. Teamer! Uh-oh! Playing... Oh my gosh! Did I call it? I called it. Alright, defenses are up. Alright, so I'm not allowed to complain about luck anymore for the rest of this tournament. I just... Care. Oh, hello, the outburst. Is this a trumpet blast deck? That could get scary. So far, it's okay, but could definitely get scary. Oblen God. Hello, perfect manas. Who do I care about? Mm -hmm. Guide. Krumar Bond King, but Krumar can throw down at five, so we're gonna rock the behemoth out. Just keep our D up. I'll block all the goblins all day, every day. Uh, Trumpet Blast doesn't kill the big butts. And, yeah, you can kill a War Behemoth, but I'll, I'll trade that off. That's fine. Ooh, five colors? Right now it's four, but is that what you're doing? Odd to see the goblins in that kind of a build. I'll at last try the opportunity. There's not that much pressure coming from me. Once we get to five, I can start flipping and attacking and all that fun stuff. If things start dying. Dead drop just gets better. Still gonna do the blocks. As mentioned. So there's nothing that super hoses me here. Certainly are tricks I can get stuff going on, but not a big creatures, you can have something gain life link until so it kills this morph and gains some life, but I still trade off. I'm okay with that. I am. Opponent gains a lot of life. I'm not. I'm looking to go late anyway. That's fine. It's basically a one for one plus a little bit. It's like one point whatever. Long shot squad. I think we just play the Krumar Bondkind on its own. Just rock and roll. Keep my disowned ancestor for D against these pesky little mites. Draw a land, rock out the guide. If I don't, do a long shot squad. Treasure cruise! Oh, my opponent cruised. So jealous and scared. Back to six cards in hand. Ooh. That'd be nice. I guess we play it, we outlast. Yeah. Let's attack first. Pwn's tapped out. Should be a nice little hit. Jump in, go for it, buddy. Go all the way. Six X! Woohoo! Opponent has full grip. Got a pretty good board. Depends what rares my opponent has in the deck. If there's something nutty, well, I can't do much about it, but... Morph? That's okay. Still tack into that guy. Oh no, are you an Aven? Are you are? You're bouncing my spirit warrior! What a bummer. No, well, that was definitely something that could happen. Definitely something that could happen. Alright. Do I attack with my Bondkin? Yeah, I might put out the double block. I don't mind trading the uh, Bondkin with the Ice Feather Aven. I might as well attack with his own ancestor. Keep this guy. You know, start significant damage. Pretty significant. So much life. Going for it. I 
Getting his golems out of the way makes this dead drop so nice as we move forward. Sure. Take two. Play a land. Card cast of that duder. Apply more pressure. As long as there's no wrath on my opponent's side, I'm happy. One more land and we get to dead drop, or if something dies, like right now. So I don't get a dead drop yet, but that's okay. It means as my opponent tries to recoup and develop a board, I'll be in good shape. I get to play a long shot squad, attack for two. Oh, hello. And um, use the archer's parapet, so good turn for me. Opponent's down to four cards in hand, so I think we're still going to be in a position where... Uh, oh, I should have left a planes up. Where we're not so much at disadvantage. I mean, we are, but I think this dead drop will help so much, so much. Can we just hang back, outlast for days while I put it, puts two creatures on the board? There's a morph. Play another creature. Go for it. Or not. Slowly but surely. Uh, I'll attack with the disowned ancestor. This guy could be a 5 5, that's about it. That would kill me. Make my opponent rock and roll with that. Question is, do I want to play my war behemoth? Definitely want to outlast my long shot squad. Hmm. What is here? I assume just a block, right? Opponent's a solid four colors, it looks like. Oh, I forgot about the woolly loxodon that exists. Well, that would be called my bad. All right. It's the fourth major mistake I've made. Do I want to outlast you? Get to do the pair back. I could take six here. That'd be a bummer. Um, but my plan is for my opponent to play another creature, and then I dead drop. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm taking six. That's right. That's right. Could be playing around it. Can't really afford to take that many more sixes. We can take at least one more. Just still try to bait out something my opponent could have. It's a little precarious. I'm not playing this too tight. I haven't been playing that way all match, so <laughs> what else is surprising? Nothing. Um, I feel like a flying crane technique to kill me. Until my opponent shows me I'm cool with this. Mardu hot piecer. Who are you killing, honey? Not my guy. So at least there's that. Another creature? No. Alright, good. So we gotta kill your really locks it on. I'm excited for that. Just to be safe. You, you, how many? I have five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Die, 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 die. Die. Die, 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 die. I didn't really play around a, that, uh, that warrior card now, did I? Did not. Hopefully we can uh, do enough damage in quick enough time to seal the deal before my opponent draws into anything. Die! Die more! Yay! Good backup plan. Uh, I'm just going to keep attacking. 
Till you show me something else. I don't think I play the Salt Eye Scavenger. There's no need to show my opponent, and I feel like my opponent's gonna be at one. I'd rather just, I uh, guess now at two. But I'd rather just protect against some crazy rare, like an end hostilities. Oops. And yeah, that's it. Okay. Opponent chose to show me two lands. Didn't need to see those, but thank you, opponent, for showing me. I understand the emotional satisfaction of going, look, I got mana flooded. But at the same time, that gives me information that I get to use. Wait till the match is over if you want to satiate your need to whine. Wah, wah, wah. All right, my put on some good shizzle. Not entirely sure what all four colors are for. Don't want this throttle. Da -da 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 -da. Gosh. Savage Punch. Love you. Country vocation. You got hosed by the Haven. You silly Haven. Is this Death Frenzy gonna do anything? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I'm just resubmitting. Same way. Same way. Alright, another sketchy keep. We need black to do anything fantastic, but we got three morphs, and we're drawing. So, there you go, have it. And a Windscott Crag to start the game off. We'll get to black before I need dead drop, but will I have black before I need to flip some uh, guides? Don't know. Alright, opponent developing nicely, the four colors. Gotta hang it to my opponent that way. We just get a bunch of morphs down, which is kind of the whole idea of the morph thing. To not fall so far behind, even when I have a greedy mana base. I guess I'll start with a guide. Currently can't cast it. And I have a backup. War behemoths, a little bit worse. But I can cast them and flip them when needed. Ooh! A savage knuckle blade, you say, eh? Well, that's gonna be rough. I'm gonna need these uh, guides probably just to get me enough life to be back in the game. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna lose to a savage knuckle blade on turn three. That seems about accurate. To me. Here I'm taking up to six. I am blocking. Can't do nothing about that. War name Aspirant. You don't say. Do I two for myself? I think I do, honestly. Kill a savage knuckle blade, and then I can start dealing with this Aspirant later. Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh no, wait! Whoa, whoa. Got really scared there. I know you guys were shouting. I know you were shouting. Um, I can't do that because I don't get the bonus yet because I don't have Ferocious. So, I'm just gonna cast another, another Morph guy. Try not to lose too quickly. Might as well attack. I'm not blocking with both. It could be a removal spell, but you know, I'm still one for one -ing, So, don't fall too far behind. We'll block the War Name Aspirant with our War Behemoth. Maybe one day I'll get to kill a Savage Knuckle Blade. Pretty sure he's gonna die. Pretty sure, man. I'm pretty sure. Blocking all day, every day. Fill that graveyard from a dead drop. Might get lucky and get enough land, enough things in the graveyard while my opponent's tapped out to have a dead drop resolve. Not planning on it, but you never know. Still not blocking the knuckle blade. So I'll just keep attacking. Um. Any way to get out of this? 
I'm going to start pumping. I have to start jumping. No pump is good. Buys me an extra turn. Oh no. Is that an Aven? Probably an Aven. Bet you it's an Aven. Hey, we hit five mana. I can flip my War Behemoth. It's not going to do a lot of good though. I'm pretty sure I'm about to die if this guy flips and bumps something. Is there any way for me to use this Savage Punch to do anything of value? No, because it's an Aven, I just bump. Yeah. Thought about keeping the 3 6 around, but I think the only way I might be able to win this is if I triple block the Savage Knuckle Blade and give myself a 3 for 1. And then I go down to 6, and then maybe eventually. But if it's an Aven, I'm pretty much dead to that anyway. So I can't play around the Aven. Maybe I can get greedy and use it here. It's not super greedy. Definitely a blowout if there's an Aven and I triple block, but I mean, again, I can't play around that. I need to kill a Savage Knuckle Blade. I have to be blocking here. But it could just flip just to play it safe before combat. Oh no. I'm just dead. Prove to me you know what's going on. Prove to me. You gonna pump? I think you should pump your Savage Knuckle Blade. I'm just saying. Yep. You knew it was happening. You knew it. You silly get how I'm trying to right click, but I'm lagging. I want to concede. Well, I'll pause that. All right. Restarted, got some of that lag away. Consider being in throttle over Death Frenzy, to be honest. I think my opponent has a lot of things that do die to Death Frenzy. Thing is, I'm worried about that Savage Knuckle Blade. You're bringing the Smite. What else do we see that it could kill? I don't remember. That's a bummer. And my chat's gone because I restarted. Mm. Do I want the Smite just to deal with the Savage Knuckle? I mean, the Throttle tends to deal with it pretty well, okay, but this deals with it quicker in case my opponent has that same thing. It's a little hard on the Splash, but I think it's okay. Submitting. All right, new strategy. Play first. Don't let opponent get a turn three savage knuckle blade. Hey, perfect mana. Another dead drop. Gotta remember, my luck has already been pretty awesome. So I'm not gonna blame my opponent for having great draws as well. Alrighty. Ancestor is also a pretty good way to deal with the Knuckle Blade if I just want to start pumping it up. At least be a 1 5 soon. Was it just the Jeskai charm that my opponent was splashing white for? That seems interesting. Nice turn three follow up with Grizzly, especially my opponent doesn't do anything. My opponent plenty of morphs. Pretty sure there's a three turn something happening. Don't care though. Ooh, especially with a Savage Punch. Very happy to see that. Hopefully that'll kill anything. And yeah, this kind of fun combo. Turn three Grizzly into a turn four Savage Punch. Oof, oof. Especially on the play. Please be a Knuckle Blade. Please be a Knuckle Blade. Actually, I don't want Knuckle Blade. I have to two for myself. That'd be horrible. Do I want to get that extra point of damage in? Or do I just want to outlast? I'm just going to get the extra point of damage in. I doubt it's going to actually change the clock. I mean, right now it does keep it a, a three turn clock. It's pretty rare. Um. 
but I'll probably end up outlasting this guy anyway with there's just you know nothing else to do at some point we'll see put up with another three drop another morph Ooh, scavenger's nice can't quite get it out yet and also I kind of want to say for the dead drop but the two delves isn't fantastic still Do I attack with my Grizzly and make the morph trade? No. We'll just progress the board some. Opponent is flooding a little bit. Well, maybe not. Never mind, it's only the fifth, fifth land. Just seems like a lot because of all the uh, triggers. Gaining four life. All the morphs are down. Maybe my death frenzy would be good. Watch, I'm going to draw a smite and just be so sad. I'll attack with the Abzan guide. Worst case scenario, it's a two for one. I just got to know it's something nice and big. Yeah, I'll gain some life. Instead of progressing the board. I like that idea. Pretty okay. Kind of want to save up my, uh, my graveyard for my dead drop. Because one more land and I could start putting the Salt Dice Scavenger out naturally. Ooh, Knuckle Blade. Alright. Luckily I can't do haste and pump. So I got to buy myself some time. Probably disowned ancestor pumps are getting it out of uh, you know so it can block the savage knuckle blade nicely, and then just morph down what the Krimor Bonkin or the Teamer Charger. Now Krimor Bonkin, I, I can't flip the Teamer Charger. Alright, so we do take one hit from the Knuckle Blade, but it allows us to smack back with the Abzan Guide if we need to gain life. Which, oh, but my opponent could have the 6 7 Wooly Locks it on with all of that mana. Is this going to be a. Uh, oh, a Teamer Charm. Okay. I'm going to kill my Abzan Guide and gain some life. Um, I think I might have tried to kill the Disown Ancestor. Maybe my opponent has like, some of the bounce spell that we saw. Maybe this is an Aven that's going to get rid of the Disown Ancestor. That would be tricky. But we do have some pressure coming back, so that's nice. Three land, though. Uh, I'm just going to take the two. Can't afford a block with my opponent's open mana. I like that the Knuckle Blade's actually hanging back, because it gives us a lot of time. We can get like, our Flyer online or something. really want to land here. If I don't draw a land, I might have to uh, put the scavenger out. Okay, but we did. So I'm just going to do the scavenger naturally. Uh, I'd rather get the flyer online in order to be able to put more pressure and make my opponent stop f start flipping these morphs. Because otherwise, what, I could outlast the ancestor, but a bounce just gets me too much. So we just want to try to get some evasion on. This is precarious. My opponent's been able to pound out a bunch more morphs. Really good spot there. Dr. Katz. Hmm. What's my game plan? If I put an attack in with everything, I'm a little scared. I need this Disown Ancestor to get one more bigger before I feel really good about block game. There could be a lot of hits at that point. Like right now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take the possible six. Ice Feather Aven scares me the most because he can bounce my flyer. Dead Drop doesn't even do a whole lot. Oh, now my opponent has great defense. Drawing lands are is definitely good though. 
Now we're going to start trying to block. Do I do? No, I'm going to keep up my five mana. So we can try to offer a trade against like a uh, scary beast. The way it locks it on. Problem is that this dead drop isn't going to really get me out of this pickle because my opponent can just keep the uh, the best creatures. So this is probably a Woolly Loxodon. That's the case. I think we're just going to double block right now. So it should at least kill it. Then I'll make the dead drop a little bit better. I could get both these guys dead. I'm going to have to rely on this dis disowned ancestor to do tons of blocking, though. I could double block the Savage Knuckle Blade. Now we're going to do this. I don't think this card is going to be able to kill both of my guys. It could be. Definitely could. I mean, Snowhorn Riders we haven't seen, but it's obviously my opponent's deck. I'm just double locking because the Woolly locks it on. It is a Snowhorn Rider. So I don't take damage, but it is a two for one, which is a bummer. Mammoth is okay. I can start blocking the Savage Knuckle Blade now. Let's see what Dead Drop gets us. Come on. Come on, you're not all red. I want you red. There you go. Probably just gonna ditch the morphs, because the knuckle blade. Oh no, you have a counter spell? Oh, ho, ho, ho. the blowouts, the blowouts, the blowouts. Alright, um, that was my like only hope. Obi Wan Kenobi. I'm gonna, huh. Well, just as I can still block, and I can start pounding on other big blockers, but we're a stalemate. Until a Sagu Archer dies. Can't really attack him with my flyer. But Ancestors has to hang out. This is a nice fight there, even though. Bounce a Roo, my friend. Bounce a Roo. I'm up 16. Closers is Disdainful Stroke, which I'm clearly not playing this kind of deck. Can block any morph besides, like, a. Ripper or something, so I at least get to block one attacking creature. Thing is, that my opponent could have like a a combat trick. My opponent isn't attacking with everything. There probably isn't. I'm blocking anything. The fact that my opponent like hasn't snapped attacked yet with the one card in hand, I'm not going to play around a combat trick right now. Isn't even attacking. All right, that's kind of nice. Ooh, another flyer's good too. I think we'll just play that in the teamer charger. Just develop the board a wee bit. Get more dudes out. We can start peeing away for one a turn. Attack with the scavenger and the sage eye harrier. No, that that's great, but you know, it's a clock. Flipping? You flipping? Yeah, Snowhorn Rider. Alright. Then I have to decide what I'm doing. Probably should use the Disown Ancestor and the Teamer Charger to double block. Probably. If I can get one card away from my opponent, I'll be happy. In the meantime, my opponent can smack me for six with a Savage Knuckle Blade. But just going for the charger, okay. Or just going for the rider, that's fine. Do it, my friend, do it. Ooh, with both. I think I just let this, this morph go through, so I don't know what it is. And just offer a kill here. Again, Trick takes it out. I don't think that's the case, because the Knuckle Blade isn't attacking. 
I do need this disowned ancestor though to uh, hang around for a while. Next turn we're going to play the War Behemoth, which should also be able to double block this morph. <sighs> you bouncing? No, you're just doing, hitting me for five. At least I know what it is. I'm actually very happy about that. Because this War Behemoth just locks it down for days. What else you got, friend? An arrow storm? Dang. You took out my disowned ancestor. Could attack for one, but I think I need to put my scavenger in front of the uh, knuckle blade along with the war behemoth. So at least there's a double block there. Means I'm taking another five. Oof. Oof, oof. Hmm, nothing. Alright, it's kind of nice. Just gonna keep developing the board. I don't know how I'm gonna win this, though. Eventually, the flyers can start doing damage, but it's only one a turn. Should be able to get rid of the archer at some point, though. There's another land. I'm gonna attack now. Get in my one point of damage. Since I have another big old butt on the ground. So my opponent wanna call the bluff? Yeah, go for it. Right. Double blocking the Savage Knuckle Blade all day. Please don't be an Ice Feather Aven. No, Treasure Cruise. <laughs> That's way worse than an Ice Feather Aven, actually. Nice. What power do I have in my deck? Not a whole lot more. Bear's Companion. Woo. Ground is officially on the gum. And a swamp. Oh, I'm playing it. I think I still attack in and try to do a damage. Even though I got some good blocks against these guys, the rest of my team should be fine. Also, if I end up drawing the throttle or whatever, I want I don't want my opponent to like start playing around it or something. I just want to be able to consistently attack. Huh. Getting a life is bad. Still not attacking. So I'm supposed to draw it out. Okay. Still gonna try to attack with my flyers here. I could be drawing into spells that kill them, but that's all I got. What's in my deck? Oh, I wish I remembered, and I wish I'd taken a screenshot, but I didn't. I don't even know how to do that. I know it's a thing that you should do, but I don't know how to do a screenshot. Okay. Put a, drew a combat trick. Is there one that can really hose me? Put the war behemoth in front of a canyon lurkers. How do I want to sequence these blocks for the future? I can't take all this damage, obviously. Can just do that. I assume my opponent has some kind of trick. I think we go for the Savage Knuckle Blade. Four, five, six. Because there's nothing that gives plus six, plus six besides become immense. At that point, I'm just going to die to it. And then arguably we put the Abzan Guide in front of the bear for a trade. I like that. I could just kill using Canyon Lickers now, but I assume there's a trick. So I think that 
rocking it this way, my opponent can use the trick. Bounce at the knuckle blade, and that's fine. Use the trick to kill the Abzan guide. I take five. These guys can go later on, but I want to actually protect the War Behemoths more than the Abzan guide. Because they're what's really keeping everything back with all their fun double blockage. If my opponent just wants to pump and trade, then I'm actually fine with one more behemoth to get the knuckle being dead. Okay. What else you got? Jeskai Charm. Oi. Look at all that life gain. I forgot about the Jeskai Charm. That's called the Blows. To the Blows! Am I dead? Pretty sure I'm close to dead. It's 28 life. I don't know how I can get through this. But I will march on. I shall march on, friend. Blossoming Sands, you're irrelevant. But I gain a life. That's nice. Do I have blocks anywhere? We have another double block with Scavenger and Warbeam with a Knuckle Blade. It means I take five here. I can put the Harrier in front of the bear, but that means I'm taking damage upon damage. But I'm still okay with the double block. I need to kill that guy. I know I lose the attrition war, but I gotta do what I gotta do. And this knuckle blade is just gonna beat me down if I don't. Return to hand. Called your bluff, buddy. Thought I could just play it with haste next turn, but why not? Might as well play it now, right? All the man in the world. Debilitating injury. Well, it's gonna kill something. Let's see. I can't afford to attack the Sultai Scavenger anymore because there's too much heat coming back for me, but I do need to kill a Sagu Archer at some point. Unfortunately, I need this to be... take out the Lurkers. Don't love it. Could have been right to hold on to it, but since my opponent gained all that life, like, it wasn't appropriate for me to attack with the Scavenger into the Archer. I need to hope that maybe, just maybe, I can draw out of this. Or my opponent misplay in some way. But what am I playing to? Where are the outs I'm playing to? We put us 14 lands out. So only four lands to draw. That's not good. There's, that means lots of action being drawn. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. I have way less lands out. There's a winter flame. How about that? Oh, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? Ooh, everything. I'm dead. This could go here. Oh, I need to go to blocks. This could go here. And I could trade, but then I'm just dead to this guy later. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I go down to two, then I'm just dead anyway, so fortunately, I kinda have to do this. But I'm pretty sure my opponent's cinching this deal up pretty soon. Abzan Guide! Great card. Love this card. So love this card. Boink. And with my... Oh, I overtapped. How about that? <laughs> with my uh, Feet of Resistance in hand, wink, I might be able to survive. We double block the Savage Knuckle Blade. Sage Eye Harrier goes for... Oh. It's a nice feather even. We haven't seen the even yet. It's gotta be a nice feather even. But it's not. Holy moly. Let's at least force my opponent's hand to death frenzy. I only kill the morph guy. Hmm, let's give it a go. Is there a way to trick my opponent right now? If I attack with the guide, just chase the bear. Nope, there's no way. What's your morph, honey? Is it an Aven? Hope it's an Aven. Just recast anything you flip. One for once. No, it's a Mistfire Weaver. That doesn't make any sense. 
this it's all creatures right don't you realize that oh, I guess it's dying anyway that's why give something hex proof go for it I don't care about that get in my life out of arrow storm range you already used your arrow storm do you have more arrow storms I don't know is there any way for me to stay alive for six minutes? I know that's grueling to watch. My apologies, friends. But I might be able to win that way. It might be my only hope. Also on cards. I'm head on cards. I can just stay alive. All right, here comes the double block. You should know by now. I don't have choices, so I just double block. Could just be my opponent doing like I was doing. Has all the man in the world. Might as well attack. And then bounce so that when my opponent does have a combat trick, we'll never know. Yep. I'm at a desperation point where I got a block, so that doesn't really help out anybody. There's no need to bluff. Just makes you use up your time more. Oh, but that's why you wanted a 3-2 instead of a 2-1. Throttle! Yay! That'll come in handy eventually, question mark? I'm not going to use it. I'm going to wait and see if I can't get some action online. See if my opponent tries to use a trick or something. Attacks? No attacks. All right. Savage Punch! That's nice. I'm going to kill something. I'm going to kill the use the Abzan Guide. I'm going to kill the Sagu Archer. Maybe start attacking with my Harrier. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Bear. But I want life. So I'm going to do this. Am I killing the archer? Yeah, I can start. I might be able to get through there. No, let's just be honest. I'm never winning with the Sage Eye Harrier on time. Let's just get rid of the big threats. Love doing this when there's no morph down. That could be an Ice Feather Aven. Makes me so happy. All right, just trying to stay alive for nine turns for a number of draws. I suddenly have hope. Oh no, it's an Aven. <laughs> So die. It's gotta be an even. Opponent did before attacks. If I attack with both, my opponent can pump and. Uh -huh. Do I just kill the morph on sight? Force it? If we do this, my opponent bumps one, pumps and kills the other. I can still save it with the throttle. Ugh. Ice Feather Aven is about to happen. There it is. You're bouncing my War Behemoth. Okay. Um, we're gonna bounce... Are we going to throttle your Savage Knuckle Blade? So sure, you just bounce it, it goes away, but, you know, I can't keep my, my defense up. But of course, that's what you do. You get to replay it. But you don't. You're just going to use it as hastiness later on. I see. Do you have a remove or a counter spell? I assume you do. Otherwise, oh, okay. I was incorrect in my assumption. Opponent can start hitting me down some life here. It's four creatures. I get to eat a lot of his. Give it haste. I'm still double blocking. Double blocking for days. No, not doing it. Not doing it, are ya? I don't think I should play lands. There's nothing in my deck that I need this much for. I don't think my opponent's bouncing much more. Oh no. My opponent has better live draws than I do. Air of the Wild! That's a good card. Happy to slam you down, my friend. 
Can you kill me after six draw steps, buddy boy? Only five more to go. Another Aven? Oh, jeez. I'm scared. I'm now scared. This is official. I'm scared. Archer's Parapet. Defense for days. Can you kill me? Huh? Four more draw steps. This guy comes in. Could block with a war behemoth. I'm happy to pass the turn here. What else does my opponent have? I'm actually getting hopeful that I can win this. This is crazy. Maybe my opponent's just trying to like wait till the last draw step, attack with everything. At this point, I just want to stay alive. Life could be relevant, so I will play this. Doing everything I can just not to die before my opponent draws and kills me in two turns. Horling Outburst? Gosh, is there a Trumpet Blast? There's probably a Trumpet Blast. You can't have a Trumpet Blast in this deck, can you? That'd be insane. Mystic of the way. Is this coming in? Cheering Instigator? Oi. I could die here. I could easily die here. I've not done the math yet. Got my opponent do the attacks, though. See what happens. Okay, on to blocks. Don't care about life. What are the most powerful things here? Dragon style twins. 8-8 eight, eight first strike. Um, I can't really kill you, now can I? I can put you in front of you. That's for sure. You're one of the big guys and you die quickly. What else? I have to block this guy. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... 11, 12. All right, so that's not all going to work out. This is a big dude that we can put that guy in front of. Sage Eye Harrier, we can just put in front of. Maybe I have to kill the. I might have to kill the Horling Outburst. Nothing like that, but the Jerry Instigator. You're going there. Actually, if we do this, we get to kill the guy. We take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, exactly. Bummer. That's not going to work. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, exactly. All right. So that's not working out now, is it? So that means I just have to chump block something. If that's the case, maybe we just kill you. Take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, chump. I think it's the best blocks I got. I don't even know if I'm going to live, live next turn, but I kill a thing, which is going to be helpful in terms of getting me an extra life later. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm at five. I take at least three. Oh, that's our best bet. That's our best bet. Yep. Can I survive two more attacks? Highly doubt it. Maybe my absent guy when it comes back to me will let me, but highly doubt it. Oh, we're at two? How did I miss that? What did I miscount? That's going to be a five. Whoopsies. Kintry Invocation. It's a big guy. I'm casting it, that's for sure. Thing is, this mystic's killing me. It's going to kill me. Thought I had it. Where would I miscount? I don't doubt that I miscounted. I'm just curious as to where that was. Did it trample? No. Huh. Humming, humming, a ho. I don't get it. GG's, friends. GG's. Well, bummer. I don't think I could have changed my blocks, could I? No, no, no. I could not have changed my blocks. They were still the best blocks I had. I just didn't realize I was dying so easily. Yeah, because I still would have been at three. Even if I blocked the war name Aspirant and not killed the dude, I would have been at three. Yeah, I didn't. You know, nothing. I'm sure I would have died anyway, even if 
I was at five life, but there was a hope. There was a mini hope. Oh well. On to the next round.